I'm Jen Jensen, Land Warfare Reporter with Defense News here at the Space and Missile Defense Symposium in Huntsville, Alabama. Behind me is the expo floor here, and industry has come with many solutions for the future of air and missile defense. I think one of the key things I'm hearing from officials, both the U.S. Army and from the Missile Defense Agency, other officials, is integration is going to be very important going forward, given the threats that we're seeing, particularly if you look at attacks like we've seen from Iran into Israel, the amount of integration and coordination that that takes from tracking all of those various threats coming in, ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, drone swarms. Uh, it's going to take so much to tie all of those capabilities together in order to defeat those types of things, in order to identify them as threats. So we're going to see a lot of solutions on the expo floor here that get after tying those things together, from tracking all the way to command and control to fire control capability. On a smaller scale, the U.S. Army and the Missile Defense Agency are working to, to tie the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System with the Patriot Air and Missile Defense System. Behind me is a THAAD interceptor as well as a PAC-3 MSC missile. And that's going to be really key in terms of being able to get after regional defense at greater ranges with better capability. Another key capability we're going to see on the expo floor here is hypersonic capability. Both the Missile Defense Agency and the U.S. Army, the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Air Force are all working on both offensive and defensive hypersonic weapon capability. The U.S. Army is bringing their hypersonic glide body capability. It's a joint program with the U.S. Navy, and they will tie that together. The Navy will be launching it off of a ship. The Army will be launching it from a ground launcher. For the Missile Defense Agency, the Glide Phase Interceptor is a competition between RTX and Northrop Grumman to come up with an interceptor that can take out hypersonic weapons. That's a huge competition to watch. It's likely there'll be a down select soon. Other hypersonic technology will be focused on tracking capability. It's not easy to track a hypersonic threat in the air because of its maneuverability and its ability to evade radars that we have currently. Many companies are working on the ability to track that, including Northrop Grumman. They have launched their hypersonic and ballistic space sensor tracking capability. That was launched in February and is currently uh, getting calibrated and will begin um, its operational testing. Countering drones, unmanned aircraft systems, is another huge challenge for the DOD, and it's a joint effort to try to come up with ways to do this. There's no silver bullet solution. Drone swarms are becoming larger and larger, and countering those capabilities is very challenging. Those threats are proliferating on the battlefield. We see it in Ukraine, and we've seen it in the Middle East as well. The Army is currently focused on cruise missile defense through its indirect fire protection capability, which is currently in a prototyping phase. The Army is about to start a competition Competition for a second interceptor for the capability that is focused on cruise missile defense, particularly subsonic cruise missiles, which the first interceptor is not capable of taking out. Reporting from the Space and Missile Defense Symposium, I'm Jen Judson, Defense News.